If you're going to master one strumming pattern, make it this one, the island strum. Hello and welcome back my ukulele friends. If this is your first time joining me, click that subscribe button so that you can join our ukulele journey. This video is a part of my ukulele beginner series. If you want to follow along, you can subscribe and find the link to my playlist in the description below. I'm so excited to be teaching you the island strum today. This strum is one of the most common patterns that you'll come across. You can see my video, four chords, 14 songs, as an example. This strumming pattern can also sometimes be called the old faithful, but today we're calling it the island strum. Basically, if you can count in fours over the top of a song, then you can use the island strum to make that song work. In this video, I'll be sharing multiple approaches, which work not only for the island strum, but any strumming pattern that you're learning. I know that everyone learns differently, so it's important for me to give you the best approach possible. Please comment below and tell me which one works best for you and stick around till the end of the video so that you can make sure that you find what works best for you. I'll be putting timestamps below in the description so you can skip over parts that perhaps don't suit you. The timestamps will also allow you to come back and practice parts relevant to you. And please, if you find anything useful in this video today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps my channel grow and keep these lessons coming to you. And you can ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of each new lesson that comes out. Now the reason for this video is that I've seen so many students hung up on strumming patterns. I really want to stress that it's important to learn your chords separately from your strumming patterns to start with. It's quite tricky, you're using multiple things all at once, fingers, limbs, sometimes even singing. It's a lot to take in, it's not easy, so be kind to yourself. But don't worry, you will get there. A little bit of patience and stick with me and we'll get it. It's also important to note that when you're strumming along, your strumming doesn't always have to be exactly the same as the song. Strumming is like an artist's colour palette. You can pick and choose to suit the way that you're trying to express the song or just the way that you can play it for now. So master the island strum and you'll be set for quite a few songs for now. Make sure you celebrate every step. If today all you get is the downstrokes, still celebrate that. It's a step forward. If you're stuck at all, let me know in the comments below what's holding you back and I'll do my best to try to help you get over those hurdles. The first technique we're going to learn actually doesn't require your ukulele at all. Before moving on, it is said that if you can say it, you can play it. So I want to explain a few ways that you can say it to play it, so that you can choose the best option that works for you. Option one, you can just use downs and ups. For example, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you can count, which is great practice as you advance. One, two, and and four and one, two and, and four and. Or you can use syllables of words. I'll use fruits as example. Great, apple, banana. Great, apple, banana. Or create some kind of sentence that will stick with you that sounds like your strumming pattern. I can play island strums. I can play island strums. Or you can count the groups together. So you'll see that there's a group of one, a group of two, a group of three. So you could say one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three. Now we're going to build up this beat using the percussive methods shown. The purpose of the following exercise is to build your inner rhythm. We will build up in steps towards doing the whole island strum rhythm together. Remember to just keep playing along with the option that you're comfortable with right now as we advance and keep coming back to this video to advance to the next step when you're ready. In this exercise you have four options. You can simply tap your knee or the back of your ukulele using your right hand for the down strums and your left for the up strums or vice versa. This can also be done on your steering wheel, bench, body, wherever. This develops your rhythm and separates the pulse from the off beats or up strums. You can tap your knee or table on the down strums while holding your opposite hand above and tap the back of your hovering hand for the up strums. This gets your arm moving in a similar motion to actual strumming. Or you can tap the back of your ukulele or a book with your thumb on the down strokes and your pinky on the up strums. This gets your wrist moving in a similar motion to actual strumming. Now let's get ready to play together. You choose the option that works best for you. Down, down. Down, down, up. Down, down, up.
Once you've developed your percussive rhythms, you can move on to the ukulele. If you already know the basics of strumming, use the timestamps below to skip ahead to building up the strum. All right, to strum, your wrist should be relaxed and long extension of your arm, not arched. Should be like you're brushing something off your shirt with your thumb. There are many ways to strum. Lots of people use their fingers to strum down. You can try that now if you'd like, but the instruction I'm using today will be to use your thumb. It's a good way just for starting out. But strumming down with your finger isn't too hard either. Kind of think of an okay sign, but your hand is open and it just flicks down. You notice we strum our strings around where the neck meets the body. It means that you can hug that ukulele into your chest, which gives it better balance to your fretting hand as well. And it's just a bit of a sweet spot to strum. If you're not sure how to hold your ukulele properly, check out my first video for beginners in the playlist in the description. So to strum down, we're gliding our thumb over those strings. The word glide's really important. You don't want to strike the strings. It's just a nice soft glide over. To strum up from our toes to our nose, our thumb just follows back up. It's not a thumb motion, like you're flicking something. It's a follow through with your whole wrist. As I said, it's like flicking something off your shirt. Should be that rotation action. So if you can just practice the up and down movement with either your thumb or your thumb and your finger. You can do this while watching TV, just any chance you get holding the ukulele, doing this. It might not feel natural yet and that's okay. It will get there. When I'm strumming the island strum, it's going to just look like my hand is going up and down all the time. And that's because it is. What you don't want to be doing is going down, waiting for it, down, up, keeping your hand up here, up, down, up. I can see people get quite stiff in their movements and it's something you just want to be able to relax into. It will get there, trust me. It's constantly moving, but it's just the slight lift away from the strings in between each note. You'll notice that with most drumming patterns, it's just always down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, with some of those taken out. I can say down, up, 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 down, up. So we're going to build up this strumming pattern just one step at a time, nice and slow. If at any stage it gets too tricky, you either slow down this video using the playback speed option, or like a fitness video, you just stick with the option that you're at right now and move on to the next step and come back and visit again when you're ready for the next step. So for this practice, I'll be holding down my chord C, which is the third fret of my A string closest to my toes. So hold down that chord so you can play along with me or you can mute your strings and just strum along. Down, down, three, four. Can you do it by yourself? Next step. Down, down, up. Again. By yourself. Down, down, up, up. Again. By yourself. Try to practice this wherever and wherever you can. Even if you're a passenger in the car, taking this along with you, muting the strings and strumming, watching TV. The best way to get better is to practice. So take every opportunity you can. Come back and watch this video as many times as you need and comment below if anything is holding you up. If you're finding something tricky, reach out, let me know. Myself and our ukulele tribe will try to help you. And if for now you just desperately want to strum a song, but the island strum is too hard, you can try just the first half of the island strum, which is down, down, up. Repeat it. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down.
nicely too. I'd like to thank you and say well done for sticking around to the end of this video. Remember every step forward is worth celebrating. So no matter whether you're still just getting those two downstrokes at the start or whether you've mastered the whole lot, you've done well. Let me know below where you're at and hopefully we can set some goals together. Your feedback helps me grow and make this channel better. So please comment below and tell me what your best takeaways were from this lesson and if there's anything still holding you back. You can help support me and this channel by visiting patreon.com slash youandbree. By subscribing, you'll not only see my videos in your feed, but you'll also be helping support this channel to grow. I'm a new channel and your support means the world to me. Don't forget to check the description for extra notes, updates, links, sites and equipment used. And check out my beginner series playlist, also in the description below or in the end screens of this video. That was harder than I thought. Oh. Ooh, I'm tuned.